So we're going to show you how to draw a brew, a cup of tea or a coffee uh, using Isosketch. So the first thing to do this time is we're going to use the ellipse template. Now you can see we've got the tool positioned so that the center line is completely vertical on the page. And we're just going to draw firstly from the middle ellipse template one ellipse and then just use the tool to give a slight indent. We're going to move the tool down. Now a good thing to do here is just to line up the box around the smaller tool with the bottom of the ellipse you've just drawn. That just gives it the right kind of depth. So we're going to use the, the ellipse tool again just to draw a half ellipse and then use the ruler to join those bits up. This is a case of being precise really, there's not a particularly easy way of doing it, but you can see it's pretty straightforward. So from there we're going to then use the big ellipse tool just to draw around the base of our mug, just to create a saucer effect and then step the tool down a little bit, give the saucer a bit of depth. Now we're going to use the middle ellipse tool again, but we're going to turn it on its sides, so but this time the corner of the tool is sort of in the middle of, of our original ellipse. Now this obviously means that this time we're drawing a half ellipse, but sort of on its side. Um, and again, just, just make sure that you line up that tool with the drawing of the mug. So you can see now we're moving to the smaller tool. And again, just make sure that it lines up with the ellipse you've just drawn. Use the bounding box as a guide. And then trace around another half ellipse. So you can see we've drawn two sort of semi-ellipses. Now this last bit, we're just going to use the sort of very corner edge of the small ellipse tool just to give a little rounded effect on our handle like so nice and delicate so now just rub out any bits of pencil line in between I'm gonna put some little ripples in the the beverage here whether it's tea or coffee makes no difference could be hot chocolate I suppose just to give a little effect of the moisture get your markers out and add some color and there you've got a perfect 3d brew